All right, guys, let's talk about cybersecurity, taking a break from the stocks, the Bitcoin, all that stuff. Cybersecurity is a problem. Why? There's so many cyber attacks right now. You are probably receiving most likely emails. Uh, most recently, me, uh, AT&T, right? From AT&T saying, oh, you may have been hacked. Or we were hacked. And uh, we're not sure if they got all your stuff or what stuff we got. We're not really quite sure. But maybe here, go sign up for these credit reporting agencies. And maybe we don't know what exactly happened. These fools have no idea. They have an IT department. And usually these people are the most worthless people on earth. Uh, no one knows what they do anyway. They have no idea how to do uh, intrusion detection, uh, sniff out if anyone's coming in to hack their systems. People are putting, putting in viruses. Or they don't even know how to change their default passwords, like uh, admin123. They get these uh, products they buy or they install open source stuff with the default passwords. Uh, and these kids or these proxies or these uh, nefarious groups or just hackers, black hat guys, whatever, just run these things through password uh, bots and they hack into these systems. And they get in. It's not even they're going in through the net and encrypting and decrypting keys and, and uh, running through all these stuff you see in these stupid movies. No, it's almost as simple as using a default password. That's it. It's almost the number one reason or, and, or, or, and, and, or it's an inside job where there's a, this, a disgruntled federal employee or an employee at a company and they are either compromised or they are paid to set up another account or just hand out the password to an organization or a group, or they're just bragging or they get honey potted. They go out on a date where they, the person acts like they're interested in them. And uh, they spill the information that way. Uh, that's the number one way people get stuff. And it's really just the default password. So AT&T got hacked. Probably they got hacked, it looks like, on a um, legacy database backup. So someone got into a file system, my guess is, and then they got the database file, got all the data, boom, download it, big deal, done. And oh, we're sorry, we're so sorry. You are signing up with these companies, kind of making a deal, a contract. That, hey, you want this, this information of me, social, all this stuff. In turn, I'm paying you and I want the service, say AT&T. And then they go ahead and they get hacked or they lose your information or it gets compromised or someone steals it. They breach that contract of trust. And that's my take on this whole crap. Uh, if you want to proceed with your stupid service, don't ask for a personal information. Just say, hey, you just want to get paid. What address is the service going to? Boom, that's all you need. And here's my payment. Don't need my phone number. Don't need my social number. You don't need all this other birthday. Just here, I'm a person. Pay, boom. And they have all this crap. And the worst case is you can never cleanse any of these databases. Trust me, I know. Uh, I really know. Uh, is if, they, uh, if you call and ask, there's two levels. You can unsubscribe from emails. There's that level of bull crap. All that does is in the database row, it just sets a field to subscribed, public or not public to know. <clears throat> that information on you is still in there. The email is still in there. It's just marked, is this person unsubscribed? There's a, now a flag, Y or T for true or false. Is it a Boolean or a, okay, it's probably a Boolean, true or false, in a SQL database or something, Oracle, some other crappy database. Uh, that's all it is. They don't actually rem remove or delete the record because there's too many um, entity relationships Created in a database, they'd have to delete all those records and tables. And it's not that easy. It would ca cause um, probably more breakage than they're willing to take on. So they just put a flag in the record. Same with your account information. If you uh, leave AT&T, for example, uh, you delete your account, they still have it. It's just, it's just going to be another field, another flag that says the account is now inactive. All your information is still in the database. It still has your social security number. It has your phone number, your address, and probably your credit card payment information as well. It never, ever, ever gets deleted from the database. So anyway, let's go over to this one we just got. We have uh, May 20th, just came out. The EPA outlines enforcement measures to help prevent cybersecurity attacks and protect the nation's 
drinking water. So let that sink in. Let that one sink in. Why are they coming out with this now? Uh, either the feds are up to doing another false flag event with the water supply and blame it on some group like they always do, or there's some kind of real threat out there. So let's just let's just paraphrase. We'll go through this real quick. Oh, this is on May 20th, so yesterday, the uh, EPA, another, another three-letter agency, folks. Take that for what it's worth. Again, um, having dealt with some of these government folks on different levels, they're not the best and brightest. They're in it from cradle to grave. They don't have to work on merit. They'll never get fired. Um, they have bad, almost bad hygiene. Most of the federal government people I know. Bad, very poor bat hygiene, uh, very curmudgeonly, very angry, and almost evil-spirited people. They lost their souls working for the federal government. So they're minions. They're perfect minions, and they are not the best and brightest. The best and brightest do not go into the federal government. Trust me. It is not the place to be. If you're bright, you're quickly going to last maybe, I don't know, probably a year and go, what am I doing here? Get away from these people. They are bad. Um, that's why, yeah, that's why things are the way they are right now. You got this kind of tier of people that can't be fired running the government that were only supposed to be there for a few years but they're lifers and uh, it's bad so now we got the epa pushing this out which is surprising which makes you very suspicious that they would put out something timely on this level uh just makes you raise your little red flag on what are they up to exactly oh my god so let's go through it they're outlining the urgent cybersecurity threats and vulnerabilities to community drinking water systems and the steps these systems need to take to comply with the Safe Drinking Water Act, which I think was back in Gerald Ford's time in the 70s or 80s. When the hell was that guy around? Um, 80s? 70s? I can't remember. Uh, they're trying to address the, uh, the, they're trying to reduce the nation's infrastructure and cybersecurity vulnerabilities. EPA is issuing this alert because threats to and attacks on the nation's water system have increased in frequency woo, and severity to a point where additional action is critical. So there have been events out there. I don't remember some, some of the details, but some are where they actually get in using the default passwords. Again, they're not going in and putting these super James Bondy devices out there. No, they're just logging in to the <laughs> through the website or just some port or IP address and they're getting in and they get access to the control panel and then they can start mixing chemicals changing out volumes of stuff that's mixed gates are open amounts of water is being flowed here to there blah 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 and are stealing the information of their clients so that's what's happening there and I think now they're getting a little bit nervous that it's happening uh, a lot again because you've got government people working in these offices they're not skilled they're not married it's DEIs uh, they have no idea what they're doing. Most of them are just there watching uh, YouTube all day on Facebook and Twitter. That trust me, I'm not even making that up. And uh, they're taking long lunches. Uh, and most of them have sex in the office too. It's kind of bizarre, freaking place in the local government buildings. It's just a weird environment, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's just weird. All right, let's go on. Protecting our nation's drinking water is a cornerstone of the EPA mission. All right, we got it. Uh, let's go down here. EPA's new enforcement alert is the latest step that the, uh, who is that? These guys? Administration is taking to ensure community understand the age, uh, ur urgency and severity of cyber attacks and water systems are ready to address these serious threats to our nation's public health. All right, this alert emphasizes the importance of EPA ongoing inspection and enforcement. I think there's a part in here. Here it is. They inspected the majority of water systems and over about 70% of them do not fully comply with requirements in the Safe Drinking Water Act. So that's, that's comforting. Again, it's Billy Bob in a small town and uh, he's not going to know if they're being hacked and the chemicals aren't being mixed accordingly. And he's just not going to know. He's a, he's a lifer. He's put 30 years in. He's just waiting to retire. So he's not going to know that some kid from Belarus is hacking into the water supply. So that's just the way it is, guys. Uh, let's see, they're doing ongoing inspection. They're trying to reduce exposure to public facing internet. They're trying to do cybersecurity assessment. Uh, good luck with that, that's a joke. Um, that is a big freaking joke right there. 
Yeah, look, look, look. Change default passwords immediately. I, I didn't even read this, man. I'm just reading this first time with you. Conduct an inventory of OTIT assets. Basically, I would just check the skill level of the of the um, the hires you have in these offices. And most time, they're just there's no merit. If you want to do DEI, just be honest. You have unqualified people in there. Hire people based on merit. I know people don't want to do that anymore, but you know, well, then you're going to get cyber attacks, and then people aren't going to have water or safe water. Uh, let's see. Develop and exercise cybersecurity incident response and recovery plans. Blah blah blah. Oh, so they're going to wait till the attack happens and then respond. Why not prevent it, guys? It's, prevention is a lot easier, I think, than the uh, cost and the amount of time to react to it. And why not take critical systems offline from the computer systems? Make it an isolated, uh, untethered system where you can't get into the public facing like they're saying up here. Reduce exposure to public facing Internet. Oh, my God. I bet there are, all of these have default passwords. You get into the dashboard, the operations center, and you get, oh boy, then you get the whole thing right in front of you. And or you get in the database and you set up your own uh, uh, ghost accounts and then start doing crazy stuff as an admin. It's all, it's so easy. These people have no idea how to do cybersecurity. And it's scary, guys. And that's why you're getting all these emails saying, <clears throat> we may have been hacked. You may want to change your password. You may want to sign up through our credit reporting. Oh, my advice on that is go to the big three credit reporting agencies and lock and freeze your accounts. Freeze them. Do not, and if you need to have them get a credit card or a loan, then you unlock them for a few hours, then you lock them back up. Freeze your uh, freaking credit reports accounts. Freeze them. Go to the big three, TransUnion, Experian, and TransUnion, whatever, and lock them down, freeze them, and you'll, you'll this is another level, another level of safety and precaution. Oh, where are we at? 11 minutes on this thing. Um, yeah, conduct cybersecurity awareness training. B, crap. You need to hire or sub out to contractors that know what they're doing, um, who have merit, who have skill. Merit is skill. People that are competent can actually get in and solve a problem and not just kick the can down the road. Uh, let's see. There's EPA administrator. Oh, uh, who cares? They send a letter to the nation's governors, blah, blah, blah. Again, the fact that these guys are doing this now makes me red flag. It's like, what, what's the FBI going to be up to? Another false flag coming? You know how they do that crap, and then they blame some groups that, oh, they were behind it, but it was really the government. So you just got to watch that crap. No one believes the government about anything anymore, especially when you see three letters run. It's like, what did Reagan say? Uh, the worst words or the scariest words in history are, I'm with the government. I'm here to help. Yeah. No. 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 Go away. Please leave us alone. Oh, my God. All right. Let's see. Uh, da, da, da. All right. I don't even think they know what they're doing. They may know what to do, but they don't have the skill sets. So here's another advice. If you're young, I did uh, tech stuff a lot. I don't really want to do the crap anymore. It's soul sucking. But if you want to go make money, learn about cybersecurity, intrusion detection, uh, all the stuff related to uh, protecting and locking and hardening. The word is hardening. Hardening down your systems. Uh, even they got it right on the first one here. This is actually correct. Instead of reducing exposure to public facing internet, just eliminate it. Have just your stupid public website and have that isolated on its own IP, its own server. Nothing else is linked to it. But I'm sure it's all tied into a main server, which has all the um, command and control stuff and all that crap exposed. And that's where the problems are happening. And the databases are on the same servers and the same passwords, blah, blah, blah. You need to just lock it down, <clears throat> harden it many firewalls blah 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 i mean i know i'm not gonna give away the kitchen sink but there's so many levels of security and just common operation security stuff you can do to protect your system so if you want to get into that field yeah start looking at cybersecurity. you do not have to go to college you can do it online you can do online classes on cybersecurity. focus just on that and uh, there are courses out there or even get into a small company uh and just say you want to learn as much as you can and get in there and just build with a small company and learn the tr tricks of the trade from professionals that know what they're doing. Anyway, on that note, I just want to throw that out there. Just be careful out there, man. It could get bad. I think they're up to something. Something's coming down the pipe, the pike, the pipe. Something's coming uh, for these guys, you know, like the CDC and their crap, what they put us through the past couple of years and the FDA. It's all propaganda. So I'm just curious why they're putting us out now. It kind of just makes you, oh, God, can't we just get through the summer? Can't we get through the other stuff in November without all this 
bullcrap, power-hungry people. And I don't know, something's going to happen based on this. They're up to something. Uh, and it may be not, it may not be nefarious. Maybe just you're being idiots. But my hunch is it may be a mixture of both. But uh, yeah, good times. All right, I will see you in the next one. Little EPA alert out there. Be cautious. I don't like drinking the water anyway because it's mixed with hormones and everything. Uh, water purification systems do not remove hormones, uh, estrogen and all that crap from birth control pills and all that stuff is still in the water. And people drink that crap. Uh, reverse osmosis, I think, is the best solution. Get one of those systems in your house. Sure, it's pricey, but uh, the filters cost money, 80 bucks a year maybe. But uh, maybe an extra level for just clean water. Uh, drinking the stuff out of the plastic bottles is not good with the chemicals and the plastics. But uh, reverse osmosis seems to be one of the best options. A five-stage layer filtering system for pure water. Uh, and it, you know, you're getting it from the city, the public. You should definitely run it through a reverse osmosis machine. Uh, yeah, filtration system. God, if you only knew it was in the stuff, you would not drink it. That's that's even now with the water safe, whatever the stupid is, safe drinking water act crap. Remember they put fluoride in the water? Fluoride is not a good thing. Look up what fluoride does to the human body. Uh, that was good. It was, it was to help kids in their teeth. Why are you putting chemicals in our water? <laughs> what is up with that? All right. On that note, guys. Um, yeah, be prepared. All right. I'm out.